In this tutorial, we will explore the idea of virtual desktops or workspaces, and we'll also take a look at some of the other elements of the default GNOME desktop in Ubuntu Linux. In the lower right-hand corner of your screen, you'll see two little boxes next to the trash can. And as you hover over them, the tooltip over them says, Switch Between Workspaces. Now, workspaces in Linux is an idea that one can have more than one desktop. And it's a way to graphically represent that. It's, it's really a way to help manage and organize the tasks that one's working on. For example, in this desktop right now, we have a Firefox window open. And you can see the box in the workspace to the left with a window in a similar position, representing the Firefox window. By clicking on the other workspace, or the other virtual desktop, one's taken to a brand new screen where one can launch a different application. This second application is running in the second workspace or the second virtual desktop. And you can see as the window is changed and resized how it affects the size of the window in the workspace. Clicking back to the first one brings us back to the first workspace where the Firefox window is. Now, one can also change the number of workspaces by right-clicking in this area and going to Preferences, where there is a setting for the number of workspaces. You can also give each workspace names, such as Work. And play. Now, another feature of the GNOME desktop is, of course, the trash can, very similar to the trash can that's available in Windows. If one was to create a shortcut by dragging the icon onto the desktop and then choosing to discard this icon by moving it to the trash, you will see that the trash icon now changes to showing something in the trash and by double clicking on the, tr on the trash icon will take you to a window where you can see the items in the trash and recover them if desired. In a later tutorial, we will discuss how to customize this desktop in many ways. But for now, that is the conclusion of this tutorial. Thank you very much.